live from Television City in Hollywood. Presents Climax. Tonight, starring Michael Rennie, Cesar Romero, Rita Moreno, Osa Massa, Noah Beery. And now, your host for Chrysler Corporation, Bill Lundy. Good evening. In tonight's story, two killers seek sanctuary from mob violence in a convent in western Arizona. For both, it's an end to flight. But for one, it's the beginning of a new life. As Maria, Rita Moreno, appears through courtesy of 20th Century Fox, whose current release is Heaven Knows Mr. Allison, starring Deborah Carr and Robert Mitchum. And now, written by Ellis Caddison, especially for Climax, Strange Sanctuary. I'm sorry, Mr. Brooks, but uh, that's the way banks operate. No collateral, no loan. But Mr. Bates, if I had this collateral, I wouldn't be needing a loan now, would I? Could you give me a chance for a $50 bill? Sure. Banks just don't grant loans to people they don't know. I'm sorry, Mr. Brooks. I'm sorry, too, Mr. Bates. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Yeah. Would you kindly open your safe? What? The safe. Just keep counting, friend. Hurry it up. You heard him, Mr. Bates. Come on, Mr. Bates. Oh, now get out of the way, friend. I'll get some money out of the bank. Well, can't you see the bank's here's closed? Closed? Look, I drove that stage so fast from Santa Fe that the passengers' teeth ran. And this old bank is supposed to stay open from 10 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon, and it ain't 3 yet. No, and it ain't 10 yet, too. You ain't? No. And I'll be back when it is. Hey. Crazy, what you do that for? It's out of my all right, Mr. Bates. Stay where you are and you won't get hurt. Hey, hey, hey. Right all up against the wall. You too, Mr. Bates. Hands up. Hi. We don't want no trouble. Miguel, get the horses. Skip, take the gun. All right, all of you. You stay just where you are and you won't get hurt. Skip, let's go. All right, all of you. Over there. Come on, let's go. Excuse me, I just... I just buckle. There's a time for all of us. That's the way I look at it. He died rich anyway. Skip did. That's more than a lot of people can say. Hey, $20,000 is a lot of money for two men, Iris. Don't bother me none. What are we going to do now, Iris? With all this money, I mean. Sleep like rich men instead of like poor ones. Uh, we always going to keep running, Iris. You see anything out there? Oh, just the moon and the stars. Oh. You got the itch to settle down to a peaceable life, is that it? It'd be nice, a little house and kids. Amigo, I greatly fear you have the makings of an honest man in you. It is a great disappointment. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. When we get to California. California? 
Well, that's where we're going. Unless you can think of a better place where the worse you pass, the better your future. Well, when we get to California, we're going to become honest, law-abiding, legal crooks. We're going into some business. A business? You and me? And why not? You mean no more running? Not unless it's for public office. What's the matter, lad? Don't the idea appeal to you? Uh, look, Irish, we've been friends for a long time now, and we talk a lot. There is one thing I, I don't tell nobody, not even you. Six years ago, before I become outlaw, I was married. I know. You had a little house and a piece of ground. Somebody cheated you out of them and your wife died. See, then I get sore at everything and everybody in the world, and I fight back the only way I know how. Take from the take, as you told me all that before. See, but I never tell you this. I got a little baby, Irish. Little girl. That is how my wife, she die, having her. Well, anyway, I know it is not good for little baby to be with hombre like me, or even to know that someone like me is her padre, so I, I leave her in a convent. A convent? See, si, where she can grow up and be good. But anyway, now that we're going to be rich and on our way to California, no more running, I think I want her with me. Miguel, it's too dangerous. We can't go stopping at a convent. No, I have make up my mind. I'm going to get her. You're really set on it. See. Si. Well, where is this convent you left her in? In San Pablo. It's the convent of the, of the Sisters of Compassion. Miguel, I think you're making a mistake. I mean, have you thought of the child? Don't you think she's better off where she is? I am think of her, Irish. But look, Irish, I... I don't feel bad if you want to call it quits. Now, you don't quits? need me. Are you daft? What are you trying to do? Get rid of me. All right, so we stop at the convent. All these years I keep my secret and I say nothing. But I always long to see my little girl. Gracias, amigo, gracias. Oh, I think we've shaken him off. Let's turn in. See. <laughs> in California, no more running. That's right, Bato. in your eyes. How many have you bathed today, Maria? Six, sister. You did, Six. Not, bathe, you did not bathe Pepito. I bathed him yesterday. He is dirty today. And I will bathe him tomorrow. You're a great help, Maria. When the time comes for you to leave us, we'll all miss you. Even Jose, I think. Are you going outside, Maria? I'm thinking of it. Duck. Are you getting married, Maria? Duck again. But you do think about it. Getting married, I mean. I do, sister, but then I get afraid. The orphanage is all I know. That's true. Maria, have you ever thought about becoming a nun? I don't know. I do not think I'd be good enough. Oh, Maria, don't worry about that. But soon, one way or the other, you must make up your mind what you want to do with your life. I will marry you, Maria, and I will wait for you. Oh, when you're finished, Maria, please come in and check over the supply list with me, will you? Yes, sister. I certainly would be glad when the Mother Superior gets back from St. Louis. Running a convent is too much for me. Oh, sister Veronica, I do not think anything is too much for you. Even me. And Jose. And Pepito. And Pepito. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Sister Veronica. Hermana, sister. Oh, Maria. Please take Jose into Sister Anuncia. It will be time for their lessons. Yes, Sister. What can we do for you, gentlemen? For Sister, I... Uh, I... Oh, please come in. Won't you sit down, please? And now, gentlemen. Uh, hermana. Uh, sister, may I present Don Miguel de Sanchez? Don Miguel. Uh, my name is O'Connor. I'm a friend and a, a business partner, you might say, of Don Miguel's. I see. Oh, please come in, Maria. And uh, what brings you to San Pablo? Uh, sister, you have a home for foundlings here. That is our mission. Well, several years ago, a six last May, to be exact. An infant girl was left at your door. She came to you wrapped only in a Mexican serape. 
There was no note, no identification? Oh, no, hermana, only three silver dollars. It was all I have, and I, I did not know how to write. That's right, sister. You know the child. I do. We called her Angela del Cristo. Angela del Cristo. The Sanchez. Well, as you've no doubt surmised, sister, Don Miguel is the child's father. Now, to shorten the lengthy and you story... you see, hermana, now I am a rich man and on my way to California, and I would like to take my little muchachita with me. Senor... I'm very sorry, but... Sister, if it's him taking care of the child you're worried about, I can vouch for Don Miguel. He's a good man. Oh, I'm sure he would be able to take very good but care of... Underneath that rough exterior beats a heart of gold and a pocket full of the same. You misunderstand me. And it's sister, only that... he'd be very happy to pay you for all the years you've taken care of the child. That isn't what I mean either, Mr. O'Connor. You have a talent for not letting people finish what they start to say. I'm sorry, sister. No offense intended. Forgive me. It's only that... This is somewhat difficult to say. Don Miguel, your little daughter died three months ago. Oh, no, Hermana. You, you make mistake. There was a scarlet fever epidemic. Everything possible was done. Angela was one of the men who died. Dead? My, my niñita? I'm very sorry, senor. We all loved her so. Come in. Sister, excuse me, but you are needed in the classroom for a moment. Thank you, sister. I'll be right there. I'm truly sorry, senor. If you gentlemen will excuse me. Hermana, I, uh, I'd like you to have this for my... Angela's friends. Don Miguel, there, there are more than a thousand dollars here. Oh, this isn't oh, necessary. Oh, no, please, I want you to have it. My, my little girl, I, I'm sure she was very happy here. Thank you, senor. God bless you both. Senorita. I sympathize with you and your grief. Gracias, senorita. What the sister says is true. Angela was much loved here. You, you would have been very proud of her. Oh, thank you again, senorita. We, we spent much time together, but I did not know she was your child, Don Miguel. ¿Qué? You would not remember me, senor, but I remember you quite well. I was the daughter of the widow Martinez de Vergales. Vergales? Maria Martinez? Oh, I remember you well, but I would not have recognized you. you. You have grown much. What are you doing here? I was brought here five years ago after my mother died. Oh, my sympathies. She was a very fine woman. She spoke very highly of you, as did everyone. We often wondered where you disappeared to after you left us. I always mean to come back. Now I am back and it's too late. Maria, por favor, I would like to see my little Angelita's grave. Of course. I will get sister's permission. Gracias, Maria. A lovely girl, Miguel. I am too late. That is my punishment. Don't talk like that, Bucko. That is how I think. And how I feel. Miguel, we should never have come here. I'd like to get drunk. Sure. We're over a hundred miles from Santa Rosario. It's safe enough.
out in the face out there in the street that they shot me. A bank teller, one of their fellas, caught a load of lead. It'll be a necktie oh. party if they hit this town. We ain't got no use for no killers around here. You owe me a drink. You bet. They're most likely in Mexico by now. Oh, I need that. I need that. You know, booting that stage in from San Rosario gets tougher every time. Hey, Yank. Open space here for you. A bottle and two glasses, huh? Oh, thank you. Hank, you ever see that fellow before? No, he's a stranger to me. You know, Iris, for six years now I am a different man from what I ever was. I steal, I almost get killed so many times. But one thing I say for me, I never kill anybody. You know that, huh? Sure, I'm glad I never do. Anyway, friends die, like Skip. I feel bad, but I don't know. It's not like I'm really feeling, you know what I mean? It's like, well, animals, small pack of wolves. One die, another take its place. But you know, Iris, all the time I'm animal, I say to myself, Miguel, someday you become a human being again. You got something to go back to. You got a muchacha, you a padre. Someday you're not animal no more. Well, someday it's too late. Miguel, when we get to California... It's going to be just the same. Why kid ourselves, Irish? Maybe for you it's not so bad. You you do not mind being animal. How do you know? Oh, don't get me wrong. You friend. You best friend I got, even. But with you it's different. You, you do not mind being against everything. Ay, mi muchachita. Yank! Never mind it. Come here. Miguel, be careful when you look, but there are two men standing at the bar. The one with the feather in his hat? That's right. Have you ever seen either of them before? No. See, si. Santa Rosario, the bank, the stagecoach driver. That'll be it, Miguel. You get up very slowly. Take the saddlebag and walk toward the door. Take your time. the door. Okay, Miguel, get going. Is he hurt bad? Got a slap on his shoulder. Somebody get the thought. The rest of you come on me. I think we can get him. John, what's going on? A couple of strangers shot Winkler, Sheriff. Anybody know who they was? Just Winkler says it's two of the gang that held up the bank and shot the teller at San Rosario. How bad Winkler hurt in there? Got a slug in his shoulder. All right. Search every building around here. If one of them fellas is hurt, he ain't going far. We'll hang him to a tree. Come on. Yank. None of that hanging talk, you hear me? <laughs> Is anything the matter? Won't you come in? Oh, thank you kindly, ma'am, but <clears throat> I am in sort of a hurry. I'm just checking around. I'm looking for a Mexican and a foreign fellow. They're both sort of tall men. Why, two men like that were here this afternoon. They was. What'd they want? Oh, the Mexican, he came to get his little girl. He didn't know that she had died. You remember the little Angelita? Yeah. Well, what about the other one? 
The other man was his partner, he said. Oh, and Sheriff, they left a large donation for the convent. Sister, them two are killers. Killers? They robbed a bank over in Santa Rosario and two men were killed. Now, sister, you just keep your eyes open and your doors locked. And if anything suspicious turns up, you tell me. No one else, you hear? Them folks over in town, well, they're, they're getting kind of excited. I sure don't want no lynching on my hands. Oh, no, sir. Well, good night, sister. Good night, sir. Oh, Sheriff. Ma'am? What shall I do with the money that they left? Well, we'll take care of that later. You be careful, sister. Yes. Where's Maria? She went for a walk a short while ago. Maria? Maria! I'm coming, sister. Maria! I'm Sarah. Un momento, Ron. I'm coming. I'm closing the barn door. Miguel, he's hurt. Uh, the barn is empty. He's so badly. Oh, it's like hot fire, Iris. Sister Veronica will know what to do. No. Help me get him to the barn. Uh, oh, please, I must tell Sister. Barn. Here, take this. Iris, it's not good to come back to the convent. It's safer here than in the hills. Ah. Easy, lad. Maria! Shoot the whole place up. Maria, when I call you, I expect you to come. I'm sorry, sister. All right, go inside now. Ah. Easy, Bucko. Irish. I'm all right. Sure, yeah, Miguel. No, you take off now. Don't be daft. No, you leave. You'll be miles away by morning. Leave without you, huh? I brought some blankets. Thank you, Maria. For nada. Maria. My name. You remember, Miguel. Oh, he's <sighs> bleeding so much. He must do something. Por favor, Maria. Reza por me. I must tell Sister Veronica. Not yet, Miss. Wait till morning. If he's no better by then. Irish is right. Wait till morning. I said, Miguel. I will pray all night. Fall down a flight of steps, drunk, and break your neck. Oh, fine. Thank you very much. Uh, well, Sheriff. Hello. Sheriff, any luck? Did you find the killers? Uh, you'll never get them tonight, Newton. I didn't think you would. Uh, we'll find them. Oh, I'm sure you're going to find them, Sheriff. Well, they couldn't have got far. Not if one of them's as bad off as you all seem to think. How's it going, Doc? You better get to bed, Russell. You look like you're ready to drop. Yeah. All the good citizens in town are set on a lynching spree. There's nothing you can do about it tonight. He's a friendly sort of a cousin. He's friendly enough, Winkler. You got no cause to go getting sore, Sheriff? Sure. Well, I am sore. I want them two men. I want them bad. But I don't want them hanging from no tree, you hear? Some clean towels and water. 
An angel indeed, Maria. Miguel. Miguel. How are you feeling, Bucko? Ah. Uh, not so good, Harris. He needs a doctor. Maria, why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, sister. I wanted to. All right, you help me. Sister Veronica, I'm very sorry. The sheriff has been here looking for you. There's talk of lynching. Uh, Your friend is very ill. He needs a doctor right away. No. But he may die. I don't trust no one. Yes, you do. You came here to us. Well, that's different. This is a convent. They can't search a convent. Ain't that true? There's no written law forbidding it. You mean they can come right here on the premises? Mr. O'Connor, if men do not bring a little of God with them, they won't find him anywhere. Not even here. Doctor. Sister. Do any of the others around here know about us? I doubt it, but they will before long. Iris, you've got to get out of here. We came together, we leave together. But sooner or later, the, the sheriff and the posse, they come back. Sister, what will you tell them when they come back? I will not lie. Maria, keep this on tightly. Where are you going, sister? For the doctor. No, I didn't. Sister, no. this doctor, can we trust him? There's no choice but to trust him. That's right. But just remember this, sister. Maria stays right here. Should you come back with anyone else but the doctor? Mr. O'Connor. Sister, I'm not afraid. Well, to tell you the truth, I am. Just a little. Just enough not to trust nobody. Not even you, sister. Now, would you please get the doctor? Poor man. What? It must be terrible, being like you, trusting no one. How alone you must be. I won't be long, Maria. Ah, they must be miles from here by now. I'll we'll never yeah. get them now, sure. Oh, They'll say they're right here in this town someplace. The way you've been looking for them, they could be in Mexico by now. Get them. Now, oh, yeah. John, you take some of your men and head north for them little hills. All right. All right. Todd, I want you to go down toward McGregor Wells. There's just a chance they went that way. Now, the rest of you... Oh, howdy, sister. The rest of you fellas stay right here in this town with me. We're going to turn it upside down. We'll look under every wood pile. You hear me? I still have a road, sir. Well, we're not going to hear any old, and I don't want to hear any of that talk. Come here. That's blood. Man. Yeah. This must have been where they hid last night. Hey, it looks like they was losing a lot of blood. Now I know their story. These ways, one of them is. <laughs> How soon can he move, Doc? Now he's pretty bad off. What do you mean? I mean he's been shot. That means he might have been killed. Now the only thing you can do for him, I've seen wounds is... before. I'm bigger than that too. But not as infected. Well, you though. can't let him die. Do you understand? Isn't it better that he die this way than on the gallows? At the gallows, yes, for me, but not for Miguel. He never hurt anyone. I'll look in later, sister, if I get the chance. Right. You're not going no place, Doc. Now listen to me, my Celtic friend. I'm much too busy to stand here and listen to your threats. And I suggest you move him inside if you can. This cold barn will kill him as quick as the wound. I'd hate to have to use force to stop you. Of course you would. Then you'll stay till I leave. No, and you won't use force either. I'd be obliged if you didn't put that to the test. Doctor. Doc, will you... Will you give us a break and not go shooting off your mouth to the sheriff? Shooting off my mouth is not a habit with me. I happen to be Scottish, not Irish. You have no idea, sister. It's just that I might need him later. Anyway, he's a beautiful talker. 
It'd be a shame to stop a flow of words like his. Tell me, sister, do you think he's as good a doctor as he is a talker, do you? Yes, I do. I think we'd better move Miguel into the study now. Afternoon. You like Miguel, huh? Yes, I like Miguel. He's a good man, Maria. It was a great pity he didn't meet someone like you before he met me. There's no need for you to stay any longer, Mr. O'Connor. We will take good care of Miguel. Believe me, sister, I'd like to be going. But I'm not leaving till my friend can leave with me. Maria, please go and get some dinner for Mr. O'Connor. I'll watch out for Miguel. Mr. O'Connor, may I ask you a question? If it'll satisfy some curiosity, sister. Oh, I beg your pardon. Ask any question you want. Do you believe in God? Well, to tell you the truth, sister, I did once. But then once I believed in fairy tales. Forgive us all trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. What did you say, sister? A prayer. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. To keep the curse of the devil from you? No. To ask the God to have mercy upon you, Mr. O'Connor. I do not think that you are as bad as you would like to believe that you are. Oh, thank you, sister, for any kind thoughts you may have about me. Sister. Thank you, Maria. Please sit down here and eat. Maria. You feeling better, huh, Miguel? Si, a little. I said, Miguel, you prayed so hard. Gracias, Maria. Eres buena, como tu madre. Irish, I think I'll be able to go with you soon. Why soon, Miguel? No, I go with you now. We must not be found here. You're too sick, Miguel. No, but... Miguel, we... you cannot go. The doctor has to see We're you. We cannot stay. The girl cares for you. Can't you see that? For me? An evil one? You are not evil. Little one, do not try to fit me to a halo. Tis lucky you are to be loved by somebody, Miguel. Would you not say so, sister? God's mercy on both of you. God's mercy. Well, let's admit it, Sheriff. Wounded or not, they got away. Maybe yes, maybe no. Listen, Sheriff, we searched every ranch and shack within a day's riding distance of here. They got away, that's all. Time to roll, boys. Come with me. What's eating you, Winkler? I followed the doctor, Sheriff. I found those two killers are hiding out in the convent. We're gonna have ourselves a necktie party. Get that rope, Yank. Come on, boys. Hold it, Winkler. What's the matter with all of you? You smell blood and you Sheriff, go didn't crazy. Sheriff, you hear me? I told you those killers are hiding in that convent. With women and children around, there's no telling what they'll do. Now listen. You're all my friends. You're good citizens and you mean well. But I ain't having no hanging judges on my posse. Now you get back with her. Get back with the rest of them. Go ahead and get back against the wall, all of you. Duck out. John, you come in. Come here. 
Now you hold these good citizens right here. You really mean to hold us here, John? You let the sheriff handle this. Do we, boys? Come on, come on, you know the sheriff. You know he'll handle it all right. Come on, men, you can't do this. You can't do this. Hold me to hold you. And get back here in a hurry, you hear me? Because I'm going to use this rope. You live. Going to make it, buddy. Yes, but as in your case, I see no cause for rejoicing. Hey, Doc. All right, if I sit up. Be very careful. Can he leave with me, Doc? No, you can go. He can't. Might reopen the wound. No, the Doc is right, Irish. You leave now. Yeah, I gave him a word. No, no, no. I think by myself and yourself we got a chance. Together we are dead. You sure, Bucko? See, si, see, si, Irish. What are you doing? Leaving you half the money. You can't do anything without a stake and half of it's yours. Irish, you misunderstand. Money ain't gonna buy me the kind of a life I want. If I make some more right, if I don't, life is still gonna be good to me. If only for a couple of days. Comprendes, amigo? Comprendo, me. Well, don't wait no more, Irish. You know, I hate to leave you like this. I mean, if you're caught. Then I die with friends near. Not alone. Again, you will not die. Sister, he never hurt anyone in his life. That's the gospel truth. Do you understand that, Doc? Yes, I do. Adios, amigos. Vaya con Dios, Irish. Looks like the sheriff. I only heard one horse. That's right. He's alone. No, wait. I'll talk to him. Sister, it's one thing to passively shelter a wounded man, but it's something else to actively misdirect a posse hunting for a killer. Now, Doc, just take care of Miguel and don't talk so much. You think you can shoot your way out? Either that or they shoot their way in. Sheriff. Sister, I hate busting in on you like this, but I've got to ask you. Are you hiding them killers here? I... Sheriff, what makes you ask that? Well, we keep seeing the dock heading this way, and that, that Winkler, he thinks them outlaws is here. Well, there are many people in this convent. Nuns, children... Sister, where is the doctor? Inside. Which way, sister? Which way, sister? Follow me. Sheriff, why don't you leave before there's any more bloodshed? All right. All right, where's the other one? Sister? I don't know, Sheriff. When did you see him last? I... Sheriff, please. I'm terribly tired. We've been nursing this man ever since he was brought here. If you feel that that was wrong, I'm sorry. Sister. Sister, you know in my eyes you could do nothing wrong. Well, your lights and mine, they're different somewhere. Now, there ain't no doubt, sister, yours is the brightest. But I've got to go according to mine. Now, sister, you're in trouble enough. Won't you please tell me where the other one is? I don't know. Maria? Doc? Sister, I'm asking you for the last time. Is he or isn't he here? 
Just drop the gun, Sheriff. Get away from it. You get no idea, Sheriff. She could say nothing, no one had as soon kill us look at you. And you, Doctor? He couldn't say nothing from the start. He didn't want to risk the sisters or the children's lives. You know you'll never get away from here. Not without your help. My help? Look, my men are trying to hold off a lynch mob right now. That's why I rode out here ahead of them to warn you. Now you give yourself up to me and maybe I can help you. So you came riding in before they did. Well, maybe you couldn't control them. No, you couldn't. Irish, you've got to stop running sometime. Why don't you give yourself up to the sheriff? No. I know mobs. They don't respect the sheriff, they won't respect the convent. They shoot you down right here. The only thing they respect is this. Now, Sheriff, you and the doc help get Miguel in the barn. Oh, I Miguel, you cannot ride your wound, will open. They'll get you. They'll have to catch us first. Please, Miguel, you can't ride like Maria, this. Maria, Maria, no yours for me. Sister Veronica, all this trouble, uh, I'm very sorry. Okay, Miguel, let's go. Maria, they will need food. Get it. Sisters, stay with the children, please. Don't stick with them. Okay. Oh, Sheriff, from the dock, saddle the horses. I, I don't think you'll make it when we throw it. I'll tie you to your saddle. Just take it easy. As quickly as possible, gentlemen. Irish. Put out that light. There was a light in the barn. Just went out. Yank, you take Homer, Carl, and Adam go around the back of the barn, you hear? Come with me. Now you speak up, you hear, or we're gonna start shooting! Sheriff, over here. Just you answer them, Sheriff. And be careful what you say. Hey, out there! This is Sheriff Russell. We're all right in here, you fellas stay put. All of you. Sheriff, we're going to give you just, just three minutes to come out of there or we're going to come in. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, yeah, Listen, yeah, Sheriff, to yeah. tell you the truth. It's hopeless, Irish. You can hear them out there. Give yourself up to me. It's your only chance. I think you're right, Sheriff. You're coming out with us. We'll see what real influence you have. Now get back to saddling the horses. That hungry mob will shoot at anything. Mikkel, talk sense into him. It's too late. All too late. Sheriff, tell that mob that there are innocent people in here. They won't listen to me now. Sheriff! One minute! Then I will tell them myself. Sister, don't do it! Sister! Get back! Sheriff, are you all right? Irish, Irish. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry too, sister, truly. Are you all right, Sheriff? Sheriff, the money's up there in the saddlebag. You give him a break, huh? Irish, mi amigo. Okay, Miguel. I always told you it'd end like this, just like I always said you had the makings of an honest man in you. Sheriff, I'm the killer you're looking for. I'm confessing. I'm confessing to everything. He never did nothing in his life. Do you hear that, Doc? Yes, I'm a witness. Miguel, 
I told you we shouldn't have come here. We're coming in. I'm coming out. No, I... No, I... I... Take me again and we'll go away. Yes. I promise never again will he do anything but good. Please, Sheriff, I promise. Are you call me, Yang Yang. Remember, Russell, you've got more than you one lap in your good. hands now. I want to keep your head down. Uh, Sheriff, where's the other one, Sheriff? We got cheated out of one hanging tonight. Where's the other one? Here's the money. Never mind that money. Where's the other one? Where's the other killer? There ain't no other killer in there, Winkler. Some of you men bring the body. <laughs> Shelley Winters, Warren Stevens, Mildred Dunnock, and Henry Silva in a preview of next week's exciting Climax program. Bill! 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 Oh, that man, that man over there, he tried to strangle me by the statue. There's no one there, Carol. You must have imagined him. Oh, no. No, Phil. He did. He did. You've got to believe me. Look at my throat. There are no marks on your throat, Carol. Mildred Dunnick plays the part of Aunt Harriet, who doesn't realize the, the depth of Carol's terror. Carol, when you were a little girl, you used to tell me everything. I wouldn't want anything changed between us. Can't you tell me what's the matter? Henry Silva plays the part of Mark Lambert, the mysterious and menacing figure whom only Carol believes to be real. Come now, Carol. There's no evidence that I tried to murder you. No sign of violence. Do you believe that it really happened? Next week, on Climax, starring Shelley Winters in Don't Touch Me, and also co-starring Warren Stevens, Mildred Dunnick, Henry Silva, and Robert Emhart. Don't Touch Me was written by Jerome Gruskin, especially for Climax, and now it's Bill Lundigan saying thank you, and remember, traffic control begins at your wheel. You see, Art, my wife has our car all the time. If I don't get a second car soon, uh, I'll... Say no more. With the big switch on to Chrysler Corporation's new cars, our dealers have taken in more used cars than ever before. Lots of late models at unusually low prices. So, for the best used car deal, see one of our dealers tomorrow. <laughs> Jack Benny, starring in Shower of Stars, also starring Tallulah Bankhead, Ed Wynn, Dean of American Comedy, Tommy Sands, and special guest star Julie London. And 
on April 18, Mad Bomber, starring Dane Clark, Ann Bancroft, Theodore Bikel, Jim Backus, Estelle Winwood, and written especially for Climax by Adrian Speeds. This is the timely, dramatic story of threats which strike terror to an entire community, and to one man in particular. Unknown threats from a mad bomber. And when he will strike is known only to him. Week after week, top drama, top stars on Climax and Shower of Stars. Climax has been presented by Chrysler Corporation, maker of these five great cars. Plymouth. Dodge. DeSoto. Chrysler. And the exclusive Imperial. The five great cars of the forward look from Chrysler Corporation. Crippled children need a year-round program of treatment, education, and recreation. Your Easter Seal gift provides the care these youngsters need. Have you given this year? If you haven't, do it today. Send your gift to your Easter Seal Society or to Crippled Children in care of your local post office. 40,000 men, women, and children will be wiped out in traffic accidents this year according to the present accident rate. Where traffic laws are obeyed, deaths go down. Remember, drive safely. Art Gilmore speaking. Climax has been selected for viewing by our armed forces overseas and is a CBS television network production.